Hello and welcome to my book. Today I'm going to show you a basic tutorial about the AOS Plus, one of our latest technologies in education. This is the AOS Plus. It has speakers in both sides of the monitor. It also has two stylus pen and can be set here to be accessible for any person. Also have ports on the front and on the back. You have 4K camera and eight microphones with three A algorithms. The AOS Plus has a video capture card built in, meaning that you don't need a converter or adapter to connect an external camera. If you want to turn on the device, it's very easy, just press this button. Now that it's on, you can see that we have some information like weather conditions, time, date, hotspot, ethernet, internet information, and also calendar and other apps here. This is the AIOS all-in-one system, and this is because we have all the gadgets and functions that we need to perform very well, especially in the educational sector. For example, we have the camera microphones for video conferences, we have a touch screen, we have stylus pen and whiteboard to teach any ideas you have, we have also a Windows operating system as an option so you can run some software that you need. We have all apps available in Google Services and Google Play Store. So this is a very complete device that you can use and that's why many of the institutions like schools and universities are applying to get one of these boards. And this is another reason why this is also called the EduBoard Plus. Now let's open the first app which is Whiteboard and this is very useful for schools. So I have my pen here and I have elements here. So I'm gonna click in the first one. This is for the different characteristics and styles of writing. I have the color, thickness, opacity, and pen. And you can see here, I have two options. The first one is the bottom of the pen, and the other one is the top. In the bottom, I have chosen green, this kind of thickness, 100% opacity, and this kind of pen style. And for the top, I have red color, a little more thick, and the same in the other. So I'm gonna write something. and the other part of the pen. So now I'm going to erase it and I choose the first of the three options. The first one is to erase as a normal eraser. The second option is to erase by area. And the third option is to erase everything. Now we have select here. When you have shapes, text or objects, you can click here select and you can move it, drag it, whatever you want or resize it. Now we have shapes here. We can choose among varieties of shapes, for example, a triangle, a circle, and then I click select to move it. And a square. In the next element, we have the plus sign and we have different options here. The first one is to add any kind of picture. For example, I will add this one which is the flag of the UN. I'm going to select with this, and I will put it here. And I can write UN. Then I can go to the next option, which is table. I can choose two by three, for example. I don't like these colors, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna click here to the other green pen, and I go back to the table, and okay. Here I want to write with a different style of pen, which is this one, the one with the T. With this style, you can change your handwriting to digital writing. Name, as you can see, change. After the teacher write this, a student can come here and can write the answers. Before going to the next point, I want to move this whiteboard so I can have more space. So I'm going to explain this one first. This option, as you can see, it changed while you click. The meaning of this symbol is that more than one person can write at the same time. For instance, if you use the pen, you can write two persons six, ten persons at the same time on the board. And if we change it to this symbol, it means that you can move the whiteboard with your two fingers like this. Now that we have more space, I will go to the next option, which is 
rules. We have different kind of rules. Let's choose this one. And I'm gonna choose another color. This is one A, this is one four, and this is one half. The next point is mind map. I'm gonna change the color and the type of writing. Animals, my mouth, birds, reptiles. I click select and I can add another one. Amphibians. So this is an example. It's very smooth the recognition of the handwriting here and you can add more Just click select click on the one you want to add more and here you can add more if you want And you can also delete it by clicking in this Now this next option is for documents PDF. I have here some of them I will choose one and I have this periodic table of the element. I can drag this document wherever I want. Just you have to be aware that it's not from the top like Windows or Mac, it's from the bottom. This is another kind of system. And we can keep writing whatever we need to write here. Also, if you want to establish to have only half of the whiteboard with the document and half of the whiteboard for yourself, then you can click one of these two. I want it in my right, so I click this one, pointing to the right. And now I have this half and half whiteboard. If you want to change to the other way, just click in the other one. And I'm gonna move this like this. So I have my information here. Now the next point is videos. From here, I'm gonna select one of these videos that I have, this one, which is chemistry. I will drag it to this corner. And you can also keep doing your stuff while showing the video in your whiteboard. For the next point, I have the web browser. So from here, I have different images and I want to choose, for example, this one. I click it and once it's bigger, I can keep pressing it until it appears over there. Now that it appears here, I will click select and I can drag it so it can be useful for this information. This next option is to make surveys, questionnaires, or, or have some vote about one particular event or question. For example, which is your favorite subject? And then you have option one, let's say geography. Option two, history. Option three, math. Option four, science. This information, you can edit it if you prefer. You go to next step. You have single choice, which means that the person who has the questionnaire only can choose one over the multiple choices. In this case, I'm gonna keep it with single choice. I don't mind if I don't see the name of the person who vote. So I'm gonna click start voting and I have a QR code. Here I have a phone and as you can see, just recognize the QR code and I go to the website and here I have the question, which is your favorite subject? Geography, history, math, science. I will click science, vote. I have here one vote. Let's say that we finish. It's only one person voting and voting. And here is one person who select science. It's very simple and very efficient this way of doing service. So now let's go to the last option, which is this one. For this, I'm gonna use my phone again. Scan, go to the website, add, select a picture, done, it's uploading and then send. Then we wait until it is sent, okay? Back home. And here we only have to wait to receive one and we have the image here. Here you are. There are two options. One is to click 
in the center and you will have the picture in the whole screen. I will go back by clicking here. The other option is to click in this element, in this icon. If you click here, it's gonna go to your whiteboard and you can use it as part of your board. We go to select, click this, and you can move it. So this is basically all about the whiteboard. The next point I want to go very quick is very easy, is these three elements. It's just like in the Android device, we have the elements of back, home, and multitask. For example, I want to go to home, I click in this one. And the back is as usual, if you're in a website and you want to go to the previous website, you can use back. And multitask, if you click multitask, you can see every file or app you have open. You can close it for, from here, like this, or you can open just by clicking every one. Also here we have this pencil. It's similar to the whiteboard. The only difference is that you don't have that many options and you can write on any app or even the home screen. For example, here I choose a green color and I can write here in the home screen. It's the same pattern here. You can delete like a normal eraser or by area or everything. This option is for a QR code so people can scan it and receive a screenshot with your writings. Now let's go with this bar. We have whiteboard that I explained, we have these two apps that I will explain later, and applications. Here we have some applications that already came by default for installed in this AOS. But the main important point here is that the AOS has Google license, which means that you can have any app from Play Store download to your device. Also, you can make use of any Google services and Gmail, YouTube, Calendar, Classroom, Meet, Jamboard, and also other apps for video conferences like Zoom, Teams, etc. You choose what to use in this device. The resolution of the monitor in this device is very good. And also the audio is very good. Now we go to this option, which is the control panel. And here we have the basic options that I don't want to go very deeply into them because it's gonna be very long this video. However, the most important thing here is about this section. This section, as you can see, there is again the same apps that you have over there in applications. And you may ask why there is the same apps in two different places. The reason is because here you can see that some of the apps have blue corner with white squares and this applies for split screen. For example, let's choose this app that has a blue corner with the white squares and if I just click it like this, it's gonna open the whole screen and we cannot do what we want, which is to split the screen in two different apps. I go back to the apps and now I will not just click it, I will keep it pressing until it appears and now it's, it's not the whole screen but only partial. I go back to this control panel and let's open another one, YouTube. And I have here the video and I can also drag the video to wherever you want in this screen. Also if you want just half and half of the screen, let's open this document. Now I will click in the right half for this app and the left half for this app. Now I can go out by closing here. So now we have only two apps left, Imago Flash and Smart Present. I'm gonna start with Imago Flash. Two of my colleagues are waiting for me in a meeting room in Imago Flash, so I'm gonna join them. First, I have to type the meeting room number. Very simple to remember. And this is my nickname or name. I have Jason doing a voice call and Raymond a video call. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello bro. Okay, I'm gonna start explaining this bar. First, we have the microphone to mute or unmute. We have the camera to enable or disable the camera. We have also the chat room. To say hi, and here's a reply. Okay, we also have polls, like the whiteboard. You can do questionnaires so everyone can vote. And we have also this function to record the video call, but I'm, I'm not gonna use it right now. We have the emojis. And we have also 
this option to zoom in or zoom out one of the participants. Lastly, we have these options, which is share video or share documents. Jason, can you help me to share one of your videos? All right. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jason. And finally, we have here one of the documents that I just prepared a few minutes ago, which is the largest country in the world. Raymond and Jason, can you help me to answer this question? Okay, one person say China, the other person say Russia. So who is who? This is how we can know. Jason is this color and Raymond is the green one. So Raymond, you're wrong, it's Russia. And Jason, you're right. And this is how we can use Imago Flash. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>